Hey G, I just came back from winter vacation and the status of our room really shocked me. I can't believe you could live like this for a whole week. Oh, hey Jay, welcome back. Oh, I miss you so much. Glad that you've come back. Finally, there is somebody here to clean the room. Oh, no, no. I'm not the one who messed everything up. You did it and you will have to clean it by yourself. No more excuses. Oh no, Jay. I didn't make any excuses. I... I'm just really busy right now. You know that I'm going to have a 3000 word essay for history class. So I'm at the library right now to discuss the topic with the teacher. And it's gonna take all day long for sure. So I can't clean the room and I know you want to stay in a clean room, right? I just suggest that you should clean it for yourself, not me. Gloria, I'm in the same class as you and I've heard nothing about the essay you mentioned. Also, I just saw you posted a pic of you shopping with your friends and checking in at the mall five minutes ago. Whoa, I didn't know that there was a library at the mall. Is it just newly opened? Uh, <laughs> maybe I thought of the wrong course. Oh, come on, don't take it as a serious issue. The room is not messy at all. Just some stuff isn't in the right place, that's all. We're roommates. You can do it for me instead of berating me like this. What? Not messy? Oh my god, I can't believe you could say that. The room's floor is full of trash paper and food boxes you left a few days ago. They are stinking and starting to mold. The bed is all clothes. And what is this? Oh, please. Did you still mix dirty and clean clothes and sleep on them? Oh, it looks exactly like a garbage dump. I can't stand it here anymore. It's disgusting and makes me nauseous. You're being so dramatic. You just need to throw all that dirty garbage in the trash and take it away. After that, you can clean up my clothes, put the clean clothes in the closet, and wash the dirty clothes. But it would be lovely if you could change the sheets and mop the floor too. That bed sheet was full of grit and vomit because I got drunk the other day and threw up on the bed. <laughs> oh my god, that's really disgusting. I definitely won't put my hands on your trash, 100% sure. You need to come back here and clean it up on your own right now. I'll go out for a while and when I return, I hope the room will be clean. What? You can't make me clean that room. You're living in the room too. Isn't it your responsibility to clean up? What the hell are you talking about? My responsibility? Ever since you moved in here three months ago, you never once cleaned the house. You always make excuses to avoid this. I just wanted to live peacefully with you so I didn't say anything. But now, things are becoming more and more unbearable for me. One more time, you need to clean the room right now. Ugh, you're so mean, Jasmine. I told you many times that it was because I was too busy. You must have sympathy for me and help me do it. No, Gloria, not anymore. And where do you place the package I asked you to pick up for me the other day? I didn't find it on the table as I told you to put the package there. Oh, I don't know. If you don't see it, then find it. Stop bothering me with this nonsense. <sighs> so funny. Gloria? Where is my new dress? I only found an empty box. And why is my closet so messy? You rummage through my stuff when I'm not here? What dress? Oh, <laughs> the dress that was inside the package? Oh, I put it on the bed. You can find it in the heap of my clothes. I ran out of pretty dresses the other day because they were all dirty, so I looked in your closet to see if there was anything to wear. But I couldn't find any clothes. But some things look like curtains and rags. Then I remember the package you asked me to pick up, so I opened to try it out, and to my surprise, it was a very nice dress. So, I borrowed it and wore it to the party. You... you're so impolite! How could you take someone else's clothes without asking permission? Oh my god, what the hell? Why is my dress torn and smelling like vomit? What did you do? Oh, I think I'm about to faint. Oops. <laughs> Sorry for not warning you. I wore it to a party and accidentally brushed it on a tree branch on the way home so it ripped. And it was the dress I was wearing when I threw up on the bed sheet. But don't worry, you just need to wash it and fix it up a bit. 
then everything will be okay. No! I need it right now! I am going to my friend's wedding, so I bought this dress for today. But now, this is a disaster. What should I do now? Whoa, well, don't blame me. It was your fault because you didn't tell me about it. Just wear those freaky clothes as you normally would. No one will pay attention to you anyway. That's a really pathetic solution. You must move out of this room right after you clean it. I can't stand you anymore. Huh? You want to kick me out of the room? You have no right to do that. I've already paid three months rent, so you can't do that. If you want me to go, will you compensate me for the contract? Yes, I will. I would rather be poor and free rather than live with you one more day. <laughs> You're just pulling my leg. Where can a poor kid like you get money to pay me? If you had that much money, you wouldn't have found a roommate to share. Hey, Gloria, I want to find a roommate not because I don't have money to pay for the room. I just want to have a friend. Yeah, yeah. You can say whatever you want to protect your honor. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I don't have time to argue with you. Come here and clean the room right now. If the room isn't clean and tidy when I come back, you better pack up and move out of here. Ha <laughs> ha, as if I would listen to you. Ugh, you still haven't cleaned the room? Do not test my patience. I'll pack your things out of the room right now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jay. I'm in the hospital right now, so I can't go home to clean it up. I promise that after I come back, I'll try to clean up no matter how tired and nauseous I am. What? You are at the hospital now? What happened? I... I think I'm pregnant. Maybe that's why my feelings are so unstable these days. So I often get angry with you. I always feel depressed whenever I clean the house, but I think I can bear that feeling and clean the room for you. I have been a terrible bother to you. What? You are pregnant? Seriously? Yes, I have the result here, so... But don't worry. I won't use it as an excuse to talk myself out of the cleaning job. Oh, no, no, Gloria. Don't... Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry for my big mouth. I, I didn't know that you were... Anyway, I will clean the room as an apology. Is that okay? Oh, really? But I shouldn't let you do it. I'm the one who caused the trash, so I should be the one to clean it up. No, no, Gloria. Please let me do it for you. I insist. Then I'd be so thankful if you could do that for me. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry if I'm being too talkative, but we're literally in college. How do you expect to raise a baby while attending all the classes? Do you intend to save your study results and return home to have a baby? Oh, you're afraid I'll affect your life, so you want to kick me out? That's right. How can you focus on your studies when a newborn baby cries all day or night beside you? If you want me to move, just say so. I won't make you a villain. No, Gloria, that's not what I mean. I just want to take care of you. If you go home, your mom and dad will take care of you and the baby. No, I can't go home. My father will force me to have an abortion. He's very controlling. I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend until I finished college and got a stable job. If he knew I was pregnant, he wouldn't have spared the baby or me. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. So, where is the baby's dad? I mean, your boyfriend. I don't really know who he was. I met him at the bar, he approached me, and we got drunk. He took advantage of that moment, and we slept together. When I woke up, he was gone. I can't even remember his face or what his name is. <laughs> I am... I am desperate here. I know nobody in this city except you. Oh, he's such a jerk. Don't worry, Gloria. I'm here and willing to help you and the baby. You can stay and I would never ask you to clean the house ever again until you give birth and recover from it. Oh, really? 
You're so kind, Jasmine. I am very grateful for what you are willing to do for me. After I give birth to this baby, you must become its godmother, okay? Oh my god. Yes, yes, a big yes. So, where are you right now? When will you come back? Uh, sooner. Right after you clean the room. Oh, right, right. I'll do it right away. You can't let pregnant women feel uncomfortable and nauseous, right? Do you need anything else? Yes. The baby said she or he wanted grilled chicken, Caesar salad, and spaghetti for dinner. But maybe I'm asking too much. Oh, everything is fine. I just need a glass of water. No, no, I can handle it. I can't refuse the baby's order, right? I'll prepare everything right now. Oh, sounds great. I'm about to come home now. Yeah, take your time. Hey, Jay. The baby told me that she wanted a big glass of juice after coming back from the antenatal clinic. Ugh, I hate this weather. It's so hot. Oh, hi, G. Have you finished your examination yet? Is the baby okay? Oh, wait. You called the baby she. Is that a girl? Yeah, that's a girl. The doctor said she's really beautiful. Like me. <laughs> hmm. How old is she? The baby? Oh, she's five weeks old. Is there a problem? Uh, no, no. Maybe there's a new ultrasound test technology. Well, I'm really worried about you. Why don't you let me check in with you? Pregnant women should not go to antenatal care alone. It'll be very dangerous. <laughs> That's okay, I can go by myself. The imaginary baby's always safe, after all. Huh? Imaginary baby? What are you talking about? No, that's not what I meant. I mean, you're just imagining and I'm very protective of the baby, so nothing will happen. Oh, this weather makes me dizzy. So I made a typo. Oh, I got it. You should find some place to sit down and take a rest. Do you want me to come pick you up? Oh, nah. I'm still great. But there is a problem, Jay. Yeah? What is it? I... I ran out of money, Jay. Going for regular pregnancy checkups and buying supplies cost me more than I thought, so I'm as poor as a church mouse. So I won't be able to pay for the room, electricity, or food for the next few months, and I'm not sure what to do. Oh no. What should I do now? I've asked you so much, I can't let you pay those costs anymore. I feel so sorry. Hmm, I think I can handle it. The part-time job will pay me in two days, so I think it'll be fine. Oh, you're so sweet. One more thing, Jay. Can you transfer me about a thousand dollars? I need to buy some baby stuff. One thousand dollars? I didn't know baby clothes were so expensive. Yeah, I'm shocked. Too. But I just want the best for my baby. Can you lend me the money? Um, yeah. For the baby. Oh, great. Thank you so much. The baby is so lucky to have a wonderful godmother like you. <laughs> I know. Shop carefully. I'll make you a smoothie. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Gloria, where can I find you? Me? I'm hanging out with my friend. What's the problem? I think we need to sit down and talk about everything. Huh? Why do you sound very serious? Yes, Gloria, I'm very serious about this. When will you come home? I need to know the truth right now. Oh, calm down. You're scaring the baby. Oh, really? That reminds me. Why have I never seen you show me your baby's ultrasound? Where did you leave it? Or I can find it myself. Do you want to see what it looks like? I lost it the other day when I went to buy baby things. I left it at the store. 
Oh, um, then what's the store's name? I can come over and take it back for you. I'm sure you want to keep every precious picture of your baby, right? Give me the name or address so I can come and take it for you. Of course I want that, but it's already been two days. I think they threw it away. Well, if you don't try, how do you know if they still have it or not? Or what clinic did you go to? Let's go there and check the baby again. I've always wanted to see the baby with my own eyes. N no, I don't have time, Jasmine. Also, my memory is very poor these days due to pregnancy. I can't remember the name of the baby shop. Oh, really? You forgot the ultrasound picture at the baby store? Or have you actually never gone to an ultrasound or visited any baby store? What? What the hell are you talking about, Jasmine? The baby is clearly kicking in my belly. Ouch! Oof! She's kicking too hard. Stop this silly play, Gloria. I know everything. You're not pregnant. Huh? I don't get it. How dare you say that to me? The baby's going to hear it. You're so cruel. Oh, come on. We both know that there is no baby at all. And if there is, it's definitely not a human, but a mutant. Because no baby as young as five weeks old has perfected her body to the point where the doctor can see the sex and have enough strength to kick her mother. Huh? You, you need to stop talking nonsense. You are the one who is talking nonsense here. Stop trying to fool me. I cleaned the room today, Gloria. And while I was cleaning up the trash can in the bathroom, I discovered that tampons had been used in it. And I'm definitely not the one who used them. So it could just be you. Do you know that pregnant women cannot have periods? Besides, earlier while cleaning up your clothes on the bed, I found your receipt for your new dress for $1,000 on the very day that you said you needed money to buy baby clothes, but I didn't see any. How dare you rummage through other people's things like that? You are really rude. Hey, I'm not like you. I just cleaned up like you asked because you used the excuse of being pregnant so you wouldn't have to work. You took advantage of my compassion for people to make me have to serve and take care of you all the time. You really are an asshole. Hey, I didn't ask for it. You volunteered to do those things for me. Yeah, I pretended to be pregnant. Then what? What can you do? You really have no shame. I treated you wholeheartedly and helped you all this time for the sake of the baby and now you're casually telling me you've been faking your pregnancy? I can't believe I've been coddling such a deceitful person all this time. Oh, don't blame me. That's because you were stupidly kind. I didn't do anything wrong. You had a need to be a good person. I just gave you an opportunity to be a good person. You really are such a boastful bitch. I don't want to talk to an idiot like you anymore. I threw all your stuff out of the room. Go pick up and get the hell out of here. I'll take your new dress to make up for the one you ruined. Remember, you still owe me a thousand dollars. If you deliberately don't pay, I let the whole school know your true face. And also your parents in the countryside. What? How dare you do that? That's my room. I will stay as long as I want to leave. You have no right to chase me away. Um, excuse me? This month's room, electricity, and water bills are all paid for by me. And I'm in a direct contract with the landlord. So actually, I have the legal right to evict you. No, you can't do that. If you chase me now, where do I know where to go? Jasmine, you can't do that to me. You really need to wear a muzzle, Gloria. You do bark a lot. What? Jasmine, this isn't over yet. You have to apologize to me and put my things in my room right away. Hey, you little bitch. How dare you block me? Then, Gloria came back, and she seemed mad. She kept banging on the door and yelling at me, so I called the police. She had to stay there for two days because no one sponsored her. Everyone at the school knew about it, and no one wanted to be close to her anymore. 
Seemingly unable to bear the isolated life, she had to transfer schools and transferred to one quite far from here. But in the age of social media, moving to avoid a bad reputation doesn't seem to work for her very well. I decided to move out because I still have feelings of disgust whenever I recall the messy scene that day. Thankfully, in my new place, I met some wonderful roommates. Although there are still times when we disagree, we are all very frank and respect each other. We became best friends during college and even at work.